All right, now that's better. Where was I? Right. Uh, APOX. Simple slogans became gospel to their followers. They started taking that armed part pretty seriously, too. They moved towards their totalitarianism, not in one big event, but kind of slowly over time. They lost most of their elections early on, and then started to ramp up their violent rhetoric. Eventually, they used mob violence to intimidate people away from the polls. And then the attacks began. Some people blamed foreign powers, some people blamed APOC, but in the end it didn't really matter. In the chaos, APOC offered simple solutions and people clung to them for security, in spite of the clear threat to the Constitution. Minor infractions built on each other until we're essentially in a police state now. APOC eventually created the Department of Historic Memory to describe the... Well, just a second, that guy's staring a bit too much. 